Hi Virgo, this is your reading with me for November 2021, for the 1st to the 7th actually, so this is actually a weekly reading, um, and we're going to have a look, see what's coming through, so I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month, if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below, they're done with me within 12 to 24 hours, and the last thing I want to mention is that my intention manifesting items are available on my website, so thousands of people have seen results with the items on my website. They are handmade, they're very unique, they're intention based which means that they're for lots of different areas of your life and they're super super special because again just not items you'd find everywhere and we also have the candles as well which people have already started to see incredible results with. So this one here says manifest your wishes and these are handmade, hand poured, plant based and they are indeed just super super special as well. This is my sample one actually which um, as you can tell this is this is a sample one because I was trying it. Let me show you like a better one. I actually um, <laughs> that actually isn't one of the ones obviously for sale but for example we have these ones. They're also fire tested and um, safety tested as well. This is actually a soulmate one. That That is literally a, a sample one and so is this one actually but you can tell that I kept I kept those to show, but it's not the best show and tell. Oh well, you see, you, you get accuracy in, in many ways, but no, the actual ones are like proper, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyways, so Virgo, everything is linked down below. You can check out my website, check out all the items. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. You can check it all out. So Virgo, ah, card fell on the floor. First to the seventh. Yes, the lovers. Yep. With a three of swords. I know, I know. Don't click off the video just yet. I think someone feels really, really bad, okay, for how they have treated you. They feel really, really bad. This isn't a case of someone like literally breaking your heart. This is, this is an energy of someone feeling so bad as to how they've treated you. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here, which I think is just so powerful and so strong. I feel like, honestly, there's just a sense of someone having so much nostalgia based upon how they've treated you. These cards are actually a little bit more difficult to shuffle. They say that and then they come out, but uh, <laughs> this is one of those readings. Hanged man, ten of wands. You see here, there's someone coming towards you here based off of how badly they've treated you. They may have even broken your heart, they may have really upset you. The chariot here shows now they're willing to come forward. There's an opportunity that's looming here and there's a sense of burden. Like some of you may have felt so, so burdened when this whole situation arose, but from the first to the seventh, I really feel like there's a sense of peace that's in your mind where you're starting to accept the things that have happened and you're also starting to move forward. So there seems to be some beautiful changes here um, where it's almost like the tables are turning, right? See the four of wands. Four of wands is divine energies, divine Divine, divine, very divine, so divine. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really nice, really nice energy where essentially whoever this person was that treated you like this is now starting to feel the burden and you're starting to feel really uplifted, relaxed, you're feeling better. This week, um, you're really going to, in the first or seventh, you're going to feel a lot more relaxed. You're going to feel a lot more harmonious. You may even feel very like, um, very zen, you know, because the hanged man literally is about just feeling relaxed, zen, you may get into spirituality, meditation, you know, resting, being able to sleep a lot better, things like that I definitely do pick up for you. We have the world card. So there's some beautiful changes. Why? Because some of you have felt like this, okay? You have felt burdened like this, but actually now it's all changing mind-blowing changes. And I love these cards so much. Guys, let me know if you like these cards because, you know, I, I know I use the like more traditional kind of looking tarot cards, but they're actually not traditional. They're the more modern tarot cards, you know, like Rider Waite. 
um, but I really like how beautiful these cards are. They're so vibrant and colorful. Look at that, right? Changes, changes in the right direction. The Fool is about a new start. You're gonna feel actually really refreshed. You're going to feel very refreshed. The world card is though you can achieve the things that you want to achieve. You're not going to feel so burdened. That's my kind of vibe here from what I pick up on. I just feel like that's so beautiful. Let's put the full here. The flamingo. So beautiful. Yeah, so the world is about structure. You're going to be doing things in regards to your home life. I feel like many of you might even, for example, you may go um, shopping and just like really enjoy just looking at things, getting a feel for things, just um, feeling, you know, inspired as well. You may even start to want to make your home just more homely, more cozy, things like that. The Four of Wands is just, again, this really relaxing energy. You feel, you're just like, you know what? I have one life to live and I'm going to try and do as much as I can for myself. And do you know what that's doing? That's triggering this person on the other side. Side who's not treated you very well that's where they see with a chariot and they're like thinking about how they can come forward towards you because they feel bad and i think that it's because you're kind of more relaxed on your side that they're spiritually now getting so triggered the tables are turning magician communication all right virgo so we know that you're ruled by mercury this is mercury energy the magician is about the fact that you may even get an apology from someone around you who has not treated you very well i'm just saying okay I'm literally just saying a very strong energy nine of wands right yes from time to time you may be overthinking things wondering about things pondering about things contemplating a minute a million things because look you are a virgo at the end of the day but i just feel like things are really truly working in your favor i do believe it okay things are working in your favor you may not always feel like they are but they really are yeah, you, you can't make that up. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Literally, number 10. Number 10 in just the most prosperous, major arcana way. This here also goes to show that there could be some unexpected money that comes your way here. Like, you might just find money randomly um, lying around in your home. Or you may find, you know, that someone gifts you money. You may find that you get a promotion or, you know, you land a job. There, there's definitely an energy here of unexpected money and to be honest expect the unexpected because you have got the fool here okay for some of you, you may even get an apology from someone that's done you wrong but the main thing here is that they're actually thinking about coming forward so if they don't come forward to you in this week just know that they will at some point that's what i'm seeing let's keep going i'm gonna drop those actually there's quite a few there but oh i love the colors i i I love these colors. Judgment. Okay, decisions. Major decisions that you're going to be making. So I feel like a lot of these decisions are also based off of whether you, you know, whether you really want to dive into things of the past or not. I also feel here as well that the judgment card is about transformation. So again, change is coming into your life. You know, there's a new path that is coming forward. Do you want to go down that path or do you want to stay sort of in the energy that you've been in for a long, long time? We also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is your personal power, your strength and your stability. We have here the Six of Pentacles, which is so powerful because ultimately the Six of Pentacles is about balance. And I think that that is just so, so like powerful and very, very significant as well in just so many ways. So I definitely feel like there's just such a strong energy in that sense which I think is you know really really important and very vital too so yeah that's basically what we do have there I'm also going to be using the Mercury Realms edition two cards let's get another card here I'm actually going to take the top card off the top of the deck Ooh, things are working for you okay if you feel like things are not working for you and you feel just really burdened frustrated upset annoyed i feel like secretly behind the scenes the tables are turning all right so if you feel like everything's going against me you have actually no idea that things are actually working for you virgo this is a week where it's about continue to keep going make yourself feel cozy make yourself feel at home take care of yourself put yourself first look after you you know, those that have done you wrong are going to be thinking about what they've done. Trust me on this one, okay? So let's go with the Mercury Realms edition two cards. Okay, okay. I mean, you just can't make this up, okay? Out of all the cards that could have potentially come out, it's this one. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but you just can't make this up. <laughs> it's one of those things, right? It's just so powerful because it just goes to show that someone is very, very sorry and they feel very, very bad and they just feel bad about how they've treated you. Some of you, this can be someone romantically. For others of you, it can be a friend. It can be someone that maybe you got into an argument with, a co-worker, a boss, a family member. There is definitely someone here that could have just made you feel absolutely so upset and frustrated and just not been nice to you. So... Eeh, eeh, eeh. That is what we have, Virgo. So there are big changes coming your way, all right? This is one of them where you feel more uplifted and those that did you wrong are now feeling, feeling what they did. All right, so I really hope this helped you and gave you lots of clarity. Um, of course, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website as well. And I also have TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, I post short readings every single day. So definitely do check those out as well. Take care, everyone. Bye.